Hi there boys and girls, welcome to lesson 11.6, unit cubes and solid figures. Our essential question is, what is a unit cube and how can you use it to build a solid figure? Go ahead and turn in your Go Math book to lesson 11.6. Let's start out first by identifying what exactly is a unit cube. Now we've built with these last year in fourth grade, but let's go ahead and see what it looks like two-dimensional. Now, as you can see, I have a cube here. This is called one unit because it ha is just one cube. Now, a unit cube has six faces. The face is the flat surface that you see on the sides of a unit cube. The edges are where two faces will come together and form a line segment. So in this case, you see this light green and a dark green. They come together right here and form an edge. Now our goal today is to find the volume of unit cubes that are placed together that forms a solid shape. In this question number one, you can see that I have 18 unit cubes and I'll show you why. If you count this first row right here, you can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six unit cubes. Now I have six unit cubes, but I have three rows of them. Therefore, I could say that six times three equals 18. Because there are six units long and three units wide. And six times three is 18. For questions number two through six, I want you to attempt all by yourself. I want you to visualize if these were unit cubes in front of you, how many unit cubes would there be? Now remember, each one of your unit cubes will have faces. Now you have to imagine that they're tucked up against each other and therefore you're going to have to visualize how many unit cubes that you have if they were in front of you. All right, go ahead and do two through six and press pause, and then we'll check our answers together. Okay, your answer should look like mine. For number two, you should have 20 because we have five cubes in the first row and we have four rows. For number three, you should have 16 because you have eight cubes on the top row, and then directly below it, you have another eight cubes, and eight plus eight is 16. For number four, you can see that I have three cubes on the top portion and three cubes on the bottom, and three plus three is six. For number five, I have four cubes on the bottom for horizontally, two cubes stacked above that, and then two more cubes stacked above that. Four plus two plus two is eight. And for number six, I have seven cubes. I have three on the bottom row, three on the second row, and one on the top. I hope our answers matched. Now let's move on. So for number seven, we're going to compare using the inequality of greater than, less than, or equal to. I want you to figure out which figure has more cubes, the first or the second. Go ahead and try it on your own. For number seven, yours should look like this. You should say that there are six unit cubes in the first picture and there are four unit cubes in the second picture. And I know six is greater than four. Now we have six cubes because as you can see here, we have one cube, two, three, four, five, and six. And on the second one, we have one cube, two cubes, three cubes, and four cubes. Okay, I'd like for you to press pause for number eight and I would like for you to try this one on your own as well. Okay, for number eight, you should have said that they are equal to one another because they both have the value of five unit cubes. I can see that I have three on my middle row, one on the bottom and one on the top, and three plus one plus one is five. And on the second figure, I have four plus one more equals five. Therefore, they are equivalent. Now for number nine, it's a word problem. It says a carton can hold 1,000 unit cubes that measure one inch by one inch by one inch. Describe the dimensions of the carton using unit cubes. So what we know is this. We know that the carton can hold 1,000 unit cubes and it, each of those cubes will measure one inch by one inch by one inch. So we wanna know what the dimensions of the carton would be. Now remember, there's 1,000 unit cubes. So let's think about what we've learned in the past. We've learned that 1,000 
could be 10 times 10 times 10, which means it could be 10 long times 10 high times 10 wide, and that should equal 1,000 unit cubes. It might look something similar to this. It might have this appearance. As you can see, we have 10 unit cubes wide, 10 unit cubes long, and 10 unit cubes high. So we know the dimensions of the carton would be 10 by 10 by 10, which would give me 1,000 cubic inches. And the reason why I'm saying cubic inches is because these are cubes and my dimensions are in inches. Okay, for number 10, it says Peter uses unit cubes to build a figure in the shape of a letter X. What is the fewest unit cubes that Peter can use to build a figure? I want you to visualize what you think you'd have to use to build a letter X with the least amount of cubes and write your answer on your line. And we'll see if you're right. Go ahead and press pause now and write your answer. Okay, now please try not to laugh at my drawing, but I just quickly tried to sketch out five unit cubes to show that we can actually make the letter X by placing five unit cubes into the shape of a letter X. And then you can go ahead and see that we actually have the letter X this way and this way. And all together that would equal five unit cubes. Okay, go ahead and turn your paper to the back side of your homework page, and we'll look at the questions for tonight's homework for you to do solo. Okay, so your responsibility is to do questions one and two, and then also do questions three through six on your own. Please don't forget to rate yourself at the top of this page. If you feel like you are a novice, you're still trying to understand it, apprentice, level two, practitioner for three, or expert for number four. And we will check these homework questions tomorrow in class. Have a great night. Bye-bye.